Yo, what's good everybody? Today we're going to do a DIY project. Do it yourself, deer attractant. Simple ingredients that you can pick up from your local grocery store or Dollar Tree, whatever you have close by to you. A Kroger is where I got most of my stuff at and I got most of it. You know, they do the 10, they'll do the 10 for 10 sale. So I got a lot of it for a dollar. All you got to have is Kool-Aid, Jell-O, baking soda, powdered sugar, and salt if you want to add it. I always like to put a little salt into mine because you don't get a little salt. Grape Kool-Aid and cherry Kool-Aid. I got these on sale for a dollar each, so there's two dollars. The baking soda, um, I got it for like 57 cents. Powdered sugar, got it for like a dollar fifty. I dye salt, I got it for 44 cents. Cherry Jello, like a wild berry jello. Uh, got the, these for like a dollar twenty nine uh, a box. Now you don't have to get the Jello brand. You can get the uh, regional brand or store brand. It just Kroger did not have these two flavors in their store brand, so that's why I went with that. So let's start putting these ingredients together and build our very own deer attractant for the fraction of the cost of what we will buy in store. Now, mind you, what we're going to do here, we're going to be able to treat up to around 300 pounds of corn. That's quite a bit of corn. Our powdered sugar comes in two pound in a two pound bag. I'm only going to use about a pound of it, so half of it, and we're going to put that in first. All right, that's about half right there. That's half. So next, we're going to take our Kool-Aid. Um, these have the little screw screw lids on them, so I'm going to do a cup of each, a cup of cherry and a cup of grape. I'm just going to take, I don't know if this is really a cup, but this little cup comes off of this, so we're just going to fill, fill that up. And I'm going to add one cup of the cherry. And I'm going to take one cup, one cup of the grape. At this point here, I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit. Now, after after we have our powdered sugar and our Kool-Aid mixed up real well, let's start. It's time to start adding our Jello. So I'm going to put in my cherry jello. Then we're going to add two packs of the, it's just called berry blue, but it's like a mixed berry. So we're going to add two packs of that. And we're going to zip that up. Mix that up well. Mmm. You already smell it. Now after we got all that mixed up, we're going to take a whole box of the baking soda. Basically all baking soda is is sodium bicarbonate and most of your uh, deer attractants, if you look on the back, they're going to have that and this is going to help this is going to help our mixture coat to the corn like this I'm going to shake it up now we're going to add our salt now I'm only going to add about a quarter of this. I'm not going to put the whole thing. I'm only going to add about a quarter of it. And that should be sufficient right there. Now what we're going to do is just shake it up real thorough.
And that's it. That's all it takes to make your own deer attractant. Well, guys, I hope you like that video on how to make your very own deer attractant. Very simple to do, not hard. You can get all your ingredients right there at your local grocery store. Uh, sometimes you can catch this stuff on sale and get it even cheaper than I got it. So leave us some feedback. Let us know what you uh, you think about it. And if you try it, let us know how it works for you. Or if you build your own deer attractant, hey, share it with us. We'll, we'll try that too. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to get all the notifications of all the videos we're putting out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on down the road. Good luck hunting, and good luck with your deer tracking.